Yeah, police say that they pulled her over at this fire station in Bethany. That's where they say she took her own life. Now tonight, police tell us the victim and suspect used to be in a relationship. Emotional family and friends gathered outside of the crime scene tape, where police say 39-year-old Chevis Melvin was shot and killed. Officers say 33-year-old Artricia Gilman went to Melvin's apartment, where an argument broke out. Police say Melvin ran, and that's when Gilman shot and killed him in the courtyard. A uh, short time after that, uh, Bethany Police Department stopped uh, the female half in the uh, area of Northwest 50, uh, 36th and uh, Rockwell. She was stopped in front of the Bethany Fire Department. Sheriff deputies and police officers surrounded her vehicle. That's when she took her own life. Police say they're still working to determine why the two were arguing, but they say the two were in a relationship at one time. And OSBI is helping War Acres Police with this investigation. Reporting live in Bethany, Crystal Price, KOCO 5 News. Crystal, thank you. More than 1,500 Oklahoma soldiers and airmen still in Texas tonight. The National Guard deployed several groups last week. Now they're in Texas to help with Harvey relief efforts like the security and also operating shelters there. At least 60 people died when Harvey made landfall. This was just a week and a half ago when it hit as a Category 4 hurricane. And coming up in about 10 minutes, a local company that's seeing an increase in orders because of Harvey and Hurricane Hurricane Irma that hasn't even made landfall just yet. A nine year old boy is dead after a boat crash at Oak Mulgee Lake over the weekend. And tonight we know the man driving that boat is in jail. Troopers say he was under the influence and speeding when the boat crashed into another boat, killing that young boy.